Just picture this, a guy climbs on top of a train just to shoot a reel, and BAM! He touches that thin little wire carrying 25,000 volts. Looks skinny, right? But that single wire packs enough power to light up 104 houses. Yeah, 240 volts times 104 homes. Now imagine what 25,000 volts feels like. Some people still think, come on, if the train's not moving, touching the wire won't hurt. Oh sure, and if a lion's asleep, you can sing in its ear and nothing will happen, right? The truth is, moving or not, burnt out or not, that wire is live every single second, every single one. People climb up on top of trains just to take selfies, thinking, I'll grab the pick and get down. But here's the real danger. You don't even have to touch it to die. Get within two feet of it and the electricity will jump to you. Science calls it the electric arc phenomenon. And hey, plastic slippers, rubber shoes, yeah, those are just for your style points, not for saving your life. The unlucky ones who've had a run-in with that wire, their bodies cook from the inside out, like food in a microwave. Outside, a little burn. Inside, completely roasted. Now think about this. The pantograph, that thing on top of the train, takes that monster voltage every single day. Rain, storms, hail, nothing stops it. it perfectly straight. On the platform, you might see those fences with a sign reading 25,000 volts. Some folks think, oh, this fence has electricity, and keep their distance. Nah, it's just a warning. Don't even look up there, or the wire above might just look right back at you. So, next time you're near a train, don't look up. Or maybe the next story won't be about someone else. It'll be about you.